Hi everyone. I am Dr. Lavleen Gaur and I am going to start with the new topic which is marketing analytics strategy. So how we are going to create a successful marketing analytics strategy. Okay. Now what is the purpose? If we see the purpose, so a well-crafted analytical strategy will definitely going to empower businesses to fine-tune their marketing efforts. So every organization does lot of marketing efforts to enhance the effectiveness. But if they will have a well-crafted strategy, then the ROI and the effectiveness in form decision making will be much more enhanced. Now, uh, what are the key steps in crafting a successful marketing analytical strategy? So the, there are few steps here. Uh, these steps are written. One is first you should have a clear objective what you want to uh, achieve with that particular uh, campaign then uh, find out the various data sources from where you have collected all the uh, material this data sources i have already covered in my previous uh, marketing uh, analytics introduction part uh, first party source second party source and the third party source after uh, collecting that particular sources now you need to identify the tools uh, from where you will going to get the uh, analysis or the insights and then the in continuous iteration and the improvement part so these steps are very common that you need to create wherever we are making strategies we are making such kind of uh, you know uh, uh, steps we are following such steps now what else we are going to consider over here uh, few terminologies that are coming over here uh, that i am going to discuss now uh, first, uh, before going into KPIs and uh, key performance indicators and how to calculate it, uh, if we see, if we have a robust marketing analytics strategies, then uh, what will be the outcome? Of course, the benefit is the increased success rate. That means companies that have uh, solid marketing analytical strategy, they are going to achieve, you know, their goals twice as compared to those who don't have that second is of course we are working in a data driven decision making so these marketing analytics help identify trends and patterns guiding effective decision making based on the real time data then is the optimized marketing strategy so by tracking key metrics businesses can refine their marketing strategies for improved results such as enhancing website traffic or increasing lifetime value for the email campaigns now uh, what are the key elements of marketing analytical strategy and what tools and techniques are required to accomplish this uh, marketing strategy one is collecting the accurate and the timely data. So how we are going to collect it? So once we have a right data, we can make a right decision. So it is uh, normally says the, that right information at the right time to the right person makes impact. So how we are going to collect the, this uh, accurate or timely data so we have uh, web analytical tools we have social media monitoring tools we have email marketing uh, platforms we have business intelligence tools for centralizing this data we have real-time data updates and holistical views which is provided by various business intelligence tools so these are the uh, following uh, you know uh, areas from where or point of sources from where you can collect the right or timely data second once you have this data collected what you will going to do you are going to analyze this data to identify some kind of trends and the patterns now what uh, you know tools are being utilized modern bi tools and self service capability tools uh, normally nowadays big organization they have already established business intelligence tools uh, that have analyticals uh, that analytical tools are already embedded into it so that's why modern bi tools with self service capabilities are going to help you in identifying or analyzing that data second is various uh, tools uh, which is related to visualization power bi or tableau then you have excel as well so then uh, uh, these dashboards and visualizations are used for simplified data analysis now you can compare you know also uh, this data from various different data sources and then you can spot the trends and you can make prediction the, using these BI tools. 
so uh, uh, this power bi is one kind of a tool which is very popular by microsoft this is one uh, another area by which you can actually analyze this data now after that the third step is acting on that insights gleaned from that particular data now once you have uh, already collected the insight the only work is making informed decisions based on that data driven insights so real time correlation between strategies and outcome with bi tools that is another thing and identifying issues and implementing solution quickly with bi tools so you can immediately identify if there is any kind of an issues or uh, you want to implement solution you can immediately uh, find those kind of uh, you know issues or the trends or patterns and then make a decision so that you can easily work on it this is the last slide of uh, this part 1 uh, where we are going to talk about the difference between marketing matrix versus kpi and uh, next part will going to cover lot many kpis and their calculation now uh, what is marketing matrix these are quantitative measurements used to track various aspect of marketing performance so metric in itself is saying that means measurement okay so what kind of uh, measurements we are doing it is a quantitative data we are tracking all these uh, marketing performance so website traffic conversion rate email open rate social media engagement all these kind of metrics or measurements are very important to find out whether any campaign is working properly or in, in which direction it is going so that we can do prediction forecasting or we, we can make some kind of informed decisions and these metrics and the measurements are very valuable into specific marketing activities so in, uh, uh, suppose you are into social media campaign then you are uh, just focusing on those kind of measurements which is showing you that how my social media campaign is actually working in the market so similar these kind of metrics are very important and uh, that is why analytics is nowadays important because we are measuring it that how much impact my campaign or my marketing effort has actually shown me and what kind of profit i can uh, get out of it that is marketing metrics now what is kpi key performance indicators this is not a new term you people have uh, seen this terms lot many time but when we are talking in terms of uh, this marketing strategy or marketing analytics then we are majorly focusing on the marketing metrics so it is a subset of marketing metrics that is critical for evaluating the success of marketing strategy in achieving the overall business objectives so kpis are typically high level metrics so measurement but different type as i said uh, don't forget to follow the second part because there i am going to talk about various kpis as well as how we are going to calculate them so little bit of uh, you know calculation part is going to be done in this second part of marketing strategy don't forget to follow that now kpis are typically high level metrics which is directly linked to the business goals such as revenue growth customer acquisition or brand awareness so how many kpis are there what is their uh, you know formula how we are calculating and what is the impact all these things we are going to continue in the second part uh, don't forget to uh, you know follow my channel and uh, see all the videos thank you so much